check out our photo gallery too. In there, you'll see a picture of real life reporter Amanda Logan with Tom Watt. He's the Buffett man and you'll meet him next on Real Life. So come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. Yes, from our next guest, the Buffett man. Oh, I, I had the chance to meet him, Tom Watt. What a nice guy. He does a lot of work for charity. He was recently in Hamilton, and our real-life reporter, Amanda Logan, had a chance to chat with him. So I'm here with Tom Watt, who is the Jimmy Buffett impersonator extraordinaire. Thank you. And, <laughs> so we'll go with that. Yeah, exactly. So tell me, how, uh, why Jimmy Buffett? How did you get started with uh, this oh, whole impersonation? So it's a long saga, but really, uh, I, I, without going into a lot of detail, uh, I think the first large uh, kick in the butt, if you will, that I got was aboard a cruise ship about 12 years ago. Uh, the band invited me up to sing because I had met them the night before and I told them that I was a singer. They invited me up on the stage and I wasn't really aware of my persona at the time. I was wearing aviator sunglasses, a baseball cap, and a bathing suit and thongs when they invited me on the stage. And immediately we decided, well, let's do Margaritaville because everybody knows that, you know. Well, at the end of the performance, the ship's executives were there, and, and I didn't know this, they were uh, kind of assaying this band, uh, scoping them out, and uh, they were all waiting in line to get autographs, mm -hmm. and they kept sending champagne to our table every night, and I began to think, well, if these people got fooled, then a whole lot of other people just might. and. Uh, I got into going to karaoke clubs and people kept asking me to do more and more Buffett and it just kind of a grew into a thing and uh, the real springboard was in the first few months that I was doing it, the local Parrothead Club in Pittsburgh, they invited me to do uh, a free show in the parking lot the day of Jimmy Buffett's concert. Well, the crowd was overwhelming and the networking just went crazy <laughs> after that. I mean, I went from owning a carpet cleaning business in, you know, the outskirts of Pittsburgh to like overnight becoming a full-time entertainer wow. because of just one showing that day, you know. But there were a lot of early indicators that people really did think that I looked like them and sounded like them, you know. And, and uh, you know, when you get into the character of Jimmy Buffett, it becomes a lot of fun imitating him. Kind of takes over you. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does have a tendency to do that. You want to be partying all the time, and you have to put a lid on it somewhere. Yeah, you got to contain yourself. Yeah. Hmm. And your concert that you're doing in town is also for the MS yes. Society, as well as Big Brothers and Sisters right. of Hamilton right. and Burlington. Right. Are there any... Um, favorite organizations that you like to contribute towards? I like the Ronald McDonald House thing, yeah. the halfway house uh, where kids are, are uh, diagnosed with terminal illnesses and we have, we play some small part in enabling the Ronald McDonald House to house their parents, parents who otherwise wouldn't get to stay or visit with their kids too often. And uh, in a personal way, this is probably about the best thing you can do for them. Let mom and dad be there for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I feel personally, you know, about uh, that particular project. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for, for coming us. and talking yeah. to me. And you're doing a great job. Keep thank it up. You. Thank and you. We're looking forward to tonight. It's going to be fantastic. I know it will. Thank <laughs> you. That's Real Life for today. Thanks for watching. For more information about the show, be sure to go to our website, ctstv.com. Click on the Real Life section and then have a look around. You can send us your view of feedback, your ideas, and even go to the contest section. It's a good idea. Oh, it's a fantastic contest. You could win a chance to take your family and friends to Medieval Times in Toronto. We're giving it away amazing prize pack, 10 tickets. Uh, for your chance to win, please visit the CTS website, ctstv.com. Click on Real Life for more details on how you could take 10 of your closest friends to Medieval Times in Toronto. Thanks for joining us today on Real Life. We'll see you Friday at 5.30. I know that it's pretty up there We can go hiking on Tuesday With you I'd walk anywhere California has worn me quite thin